Hello students! Welcome back to Delhi Vala Teacher on YouTube. I am your host, and today we have an exciting topic to discuss. We will be diving into the fascinating world of versification. So grab your pens and notebooks, and let's get started. Versification is an important aspect of literature, especially in poetry. It refers to the art and technique of arranging words and lines in poetry to create rhythm, meter, and structure. In simple terms, it's the way poets use language and form to create a musical and aesthetic experience for the reader. One of the renowned authors who extensively wrote about versification is John Stallworthy. He was a prominent British poet, critic, and scholar who made significant contributions to the field of English literature. Stallworthy's works often explore the nuances of versification, and his insights are highly valued in the literary world. Understanding Rhythm and Meter to understand versification, we need to start with two important concepts, rhythm and meter. Rhythm is the pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables in a line of poetry, while meter is the systematic arrangement of stressed and unstressed syllables that creates a specific rhythm. For example, let's consider a line from one of Stallworthy's poems. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. If we analyze this line, we can see that it has a rhythmic pattern of stressed and unstressed U syllables as follows, U, 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 U. This rhythmic pattern is called iambic pentameter, which is a common meter used in English poetry. Understanding the rhythm and meter of a poem helps us appreciate the musicality and flow of the language used by the poet. Exploring Poetic Forms Another important aspect of versification is the structure or form of a poem. Poets use various forms or patterns to shape their poems, and each form has its own rules and conventions. For instance, Stallworthy often used sonnets in his poetry. A sonnet is a 14-line poem with a specific rhyme scheme and meter. Stallworthy's sonnets often followed the traditional Shakespearean or Petrarchan sonnet forms, which have different rhyme schemes and structures. Understanding different poetic forms and their requirements can help us appreciate how poets like Stallworthy craft their poems. Analyzing Poetic Devices Poets also use a variety of literary devices to enhance the meaning and impact of their poems. These devices, such as rhyme, alliteration, assonance, and imagery, add richness and depth to the language used in poetry. For example, Stallworthy's poems often contain rich imagery that appeals to the senses and creates vivid mental pictures for the reader. His use of metaphors, similes, and other figurative language adds layers of meaning to his poems and makes them more engaging and thought-provoking. In conclusion, versification is a crucial aspect of poetry, and John Stallworthy was a renowned author who extensively wrote about it. Understanding the concepts of rhythm, meter, Poetic and literary devices can help us appreciate the art and craft of poetry and delve deeper into Stallworthy's works. So, that's it for today's lecture on versification. I hope you found it insightful and gained a better understanding of this fascinating topic. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Thank you for joining Delhi Vala Teacher. See you in the next video.